guys, what is up? Special match 1v1 C showcase. So this is an average G3 guild. We got V Imperio versus Artemis. Okay, and it's on uh, Europe. And it's Rodrigo, the guild master. It is. Yes, you guessed it. I said Rodrigo, Portuguese guild. So here we go. The siege is about to start. Oh no, the siege is already uh, it's already started. So he's just showing his rank. He's rank 34 and Arthemis is right there as well. Rank, what was it, like 29 or something? But yeah, let's get into it. Okay, where we go? He's Arthemis, what are you running, guys? What are you guys running? MST, we've got Mina, Lulu, and Belladin. 2A? Yeah, 2A. He's got those extra tails, right? Oh, they did put a lot of damage into him. Are you going to win your first sword? Are you gonna get 10 10 i'm very curious you're the guild master you're supposed to be setting a good example but g's to your guild because i heard you guys are just making it into g3 siege like not like you just made it today but like his last season and this season you guys been hitting g3 so and your guild's improving so well done to that portuguese community much love okay so rodrigo thanks for the showcase as well and it's the guild master, love it. So permission for the whole guild to send me showcases if they want. Because your guild master did it, why not you do it? Oh, uh, you got this was this was a close fight, man. That Bella took a lot of damage. A lot, a lot of damage. He needs to be very, very tanky, mate. Very, very tanky. I'm curious to see how tanky he was, and does he have minus dark damage on him? Or maybe some minus wind? <laughs> no, minus dark. <clears throat> but yeah. First sword is a win. I'm curious if it's going to be 10-10. I like this fight. I like this fight. I like this offense. Yeah. So, guys, if you want to be showcased, I'll make it very simple. All you have to do is join my Discord, which is the link for Discord is in the link tree down in the description. Once you join Discord, there's a channel for C showcases. Read the information there and then you know how to be showcased or what to do when you're recording and how to send it to me. So, yeah. Thanks in advance if you do do that. And I will thank you also when we do actually talk to each other, you know, in a private message. So if you want to get a private message with me, get his PDF showcased. I'd love to see a new meta coming in. Some new offenses, some new defenses going into season nine. This is a common offense against Orion, Perna, Savannah. Is the Tessa and the um, forgot her name. The uh, Water Fairy, Lucia, ha, <laughs> and Triana. It is a common offense. It is seen it many times. Yeah. All right. Who we got? Nana. Theo, Perna versus Kuman, Bastard, Odin. All right. Okay. Yo, something missing there? Nah. I feel like something was missing there. All right. Perna died. Oh! Gets another stack. This is easy. I think Nana and like two damage dealers. It's plenty versus uh, Kumin Bastard Odin. But we all know Kumin Bastard Odin is dead meta. But you know what? It's still good in like mid-range G3 Siege, late G2 Siege. But yeah, where people are starting to have a bigger monster box and plenty of ways to counter it. You know what I mean? But yeah, you can just go triple HP Triana, Tessa, and then like any other unit and it'll work out. I think most of the time. Even Nana. But Nana is the key. There we go. Another W. Oh my god, this guy has the logo of fish. <laughs> I bet you he hates me or his whole guild. No, I'm joking. But yeah. Uh, what do we got? There is a f uh, fish logo floating around with my name on it. I've seen it. But anyways, Harmonio Vigo Fuki versus Harmonio Vigo and Skogel. First of all, I'm not a big fan of Fukis anymore. They're just very underwhelming. And Harmonio Vigo versus Harmonio Vigo. You know what? If you have experience using this such offense, maybe it's good. For me, I'll misplay the whole thing. 
doesn't look good at the moment doesn't look good that's why there's a reason okay now it looks good that's why there's a reason you never mir mirror the enemy's defense because it all falls down to rng and you know on defense when you're fighting something rng is stacked against you all the time all the time i probably for reals it's not but it feels like it you know what i mean it feels like it because we only notice the times it does stack up on you but we don't notice the times where it stacks up on the opponent but yeah it's pretty i'm pretty sure it's even but there we go looks like he's winning this one as well i reckon if i fast forward this one someone in the comments will be like don't don't do it don't fast forward your showcases or just don't do them at all you know what i mean and like, all right fair enough you're right it is a new offense it's not tracked on the lulu we will showcase it <clears throat> So his in-game name is Vieira, but his name is Rodrigo. <clears throat> is that, are you, are you, are you, what's it called? Fishing someone with that? Is it Vieira? I, can't, I didn't see it. I missed it. <clears throat> Anyways, we've got another Harmonia. He loves his Harmonias. I love those wings on Harmonia. Bovak and is that Arnold? I'll never know how to use this comp. I don't know what these skills do, mate. I don't know what these skills do. This is, this is something I'll never be able to use ever in my life all right so he's brought bulwark into all those stacks all those buffs oh nice i like that arnold's like a budget icarus and a budget merlong right that's that's what he is oh hey oh good job yeah 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 come on oh this i don't know about this i don't know about this what do you reckon does he win it? Okay, he's got five stacks. Bulbuck doesn't have five stacks. But Odin does. Yep, still good. <clears throat> he's going to get a nice heal right now. I think the attack break doesn't matter. I don't have to blur that out because it's not even English. It's in Portuguese. I'm sure all the Portuguese people out there watching will know what it said. Probably a notification for a game. Okay, it looks like he's winning this. It's just this bastard will make him go through hell. Alright, we'll make him go through hell. I'm gonna fast forward it. I swear, if you say something, anyone in the comments? Deleted the comment. My favorite sort of offenses. The fast ones. We got Poseidon lead. Okay, because there's no speed threat for him. Even though that monkey is very, very fast. Poseidon lead. Galleon, Tiana, yep, also on Despair, alright, we've seen a few Despair Poseidons, I like mine on Rage, but yeah, good job. What are we fighting? MSTs, Aga, Lucia, and Asha 2A, I really do think you, your first offense into Twins should be Shaman, the Light, Bird, as a tank because he already has in his passive minus 50 percent of incoming damage from a dark unit so that martina boom without even artifacts without even putting more damage reduction from dark or wind or whatever onto his well <laughs> crafting putting the artifact in <laughs> into his i don't know what <laughs> but yeah the artifact extra less damage reduction I hope some of you um, put that together, that whole sentence, because I don't even know what I said. I have no idea what I said. Not bad. I'm, I'm really liking these um, Aegis with the Berserk. Really, really big fan of them lately. Love the damage. Little effort to ruin them, and it does so much damage. You can just go speed, crit damage, HP. And then it just goes crazy. Imagine speed, crit damage, attack. Oh my god. All these guild logos. We saw a fish guild logo. We saw a light herb one. Or a cardiac K one. Or what was it? Cardiac Unity. Tessa, Lulu. Oh, wait. I don't like this offense. Tessa, Lulu, Leo into Odin. Coming back to Odin. Okay. See, the, the trick with this is supposed to be a Triana instead of Lulu. Right? 
So, Triana tanks Odin if he hits her, but if Odin hits something else and it doesn't tank it, Triana saves it with the passive. It just makes it easier to ruin for the offense, I guess. But this would work as well. You just have to ruin a more tankier. Doesn't have to worry about speed because he's got the Leo there. <coughs> Fair enough. Makes sense. All right. All right. Good enough. Hey, you proved me wrong. I was just saying that was my experience. But this also works because you can just focus on HP. HP, HP. And not worry about speed at all. Plus, you can nerf that bastard at the beginning of the match. Push her back and mess up speed tuning. Where she doesn't... Um, buff Odin to five stacks, right? <coughs> That's one of the things I hate the most is Bastard skill one attack break on Tessa just makes the match go so much longer. Oh my god, nice defense break, Tessa. Nice defense break. I'd love to fast forward this, but it's still anyone's game at the moment. It's still anyone's game that Bastard can go into skill two defense break onto Tessa. Kuman does what he just did right now. If there was a defense break, it would have died. Oh. There we go. See? This is what I mean. There's a defense break on that Lulu. Is that Lulu 100% res? And that skill one did a lot of damage on Lulu. Don't you think? Hey! We killed it. Good job. No losses yet. Leading by example. Alright. Leading by example for your guildies. You tell them. Watch Killer Showcase. Where I did 10 10 in the tournament. Oh, wait, it's not tournament. 10 10 in G3 Siege. <laughs> Against Artemis, a French guild. And we know how the French guilds are. They're strong. When they're together. <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. But yeah. And I want you to do all 10 10, okay? And maybe in a season or two, we see this guild to be in top 20. So all the. Best Portuguese players, maybe head over to this guild and help him get there. I don't know. I don't even know if he's recruiting. I'm just sending out an ad for him. All right, let's finish this fight off. We know the results. I really needed to fast forward that. Oh my god, I'm traumatized by using Water Twins on MSTs. Okay, he's got his light bird here. I will never use my Water Twins against MSTs ever again. I learned my lesson and run to tournament. If you haven't seen that video, just scroll back a few videos. And you'll see it. it says round two on the thumbnail. All right, we fought Contra and I hit 10 MSTs. And the twins really let me down. I also feel that I let myself down. <laughs> I don't know. I was going to say something else, but don't worry. <laughs> all right, he's doing all right. He's saved his um, light tank with the water twins. Because he knows if his light tank is dead, his twins are dead. A lot of times I use this offense and it was just Triana versus the twins. And I got very lucky. Heads up, this fight is long, and I will fast forward it, okay? We got Nana, Juno, Ethna. So he's taking a tank for Ethna, because Ethna will continue going into Rena. And then we've got Rakuni for that cleanse that came from Nana, I guess. Oh. Then we've got a Juno, okay. So I'm going to guess Kuman is on destroy. <clears throat> What's the plan here, mate? What's the plan here? Let's see. I haven't used this often, so I don't know what, what he's going to do. So he's killing... He's damage dealer that's letting Rina tank. Is that a good idea? Would, would you guys say that's a good idea? I don't know. I'm asking you. I'm not saying if it's a bad idea or a good idea. But like, if Ethna's hitting Rina, do you want to be killing Rina first? But she's the only damage dealer, all right? And it'll be harder to kill Nana with it, with it because it's disadvantage on element. And then you can hit Juno, but I could revenge and do that, what she's doing right now, all right? Stunning. If she's on revenge. That was defense break. And it did 3k's per hit. So what happens now? I think you can just order now, right? Would you just order into Juno? I think you can just order into Juno now, right? Let me just fast forwards. I told you it was a long fight. I will be fast forward now because we know the result, right? He's winning. Yep. And that was his 10 10, guys. Well done, mate. Nice performance. Guildmaster leading by example. Thanks for the showcase. Good luck next season. And thanks for watching, everyone. Yellow bye.